ഹായ് ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ഏവർക്കും എൻ്റെ ചാനലിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം സോ ടുഡേ വി വിൽ ബി സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് അപ്പ് ന്യൂ സെഷൻസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ന്യൂക്ലിയർ മെഡിസിൻ ആൻഡ് ബി സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് അപ്പ് എം സി ക്യൂസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ന്യൂക്ലിയർ മെഡിസിൻ ആസ് എ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് മെനി ഓഫ് മൈ വ്യൂവേഴ്സ് സിൻസ് മെനി ഓഫ് ദ ലൈസൻസിങ് എക്സാം ഹാവ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡഡ് മീൻസ് ദ ജി സി സി ലൈസൻസിങ് എക്സാം ഹാവ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡഡ് സിലബസ് ഫ്രം ന്യൂക്ലിയർ മെഡിസിൻ ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് അൾട്രാസോണോഗ്രാഫി once i have completed few of the sessions of nuclear medicine i'll be starting a few of the sessions for ultrasonography along with that i have few of the whatsapp group that is radiographers coaching hcpc registration nhs interview special cmrt that is canadian association as well as koru koris for ireland so those who wish any of these groups can just whatsapp me make sure that you belongs to the radiographer since all these groups are meant for radiographer family and this nhs interview special in this group we will be discussing few of the questions interview questions as well as we will be providing mock interview this mock interview is hosted by my friends who are there in united kingdom so that you will get an idea how to face an interview along with that if you requires any of the study material for these licensing exam can just mail me i'll be giving my mail address also in my description box so patiently watch till the end and stay tuned here we begin part 1 tutoring of nuclear medicine moving on to the facts question which of the following radiations are used for imaging purpose option a alpha option b beta option c gamma and option d delta the answer is option c gamma so let's see the explanation gamma rays are energy rays of photon rays and do not have a mass since they have a greater penetration power they can be used for imaging the next question question number 2 technetium 99m is obtained from option a molybdenum option b gallium option c indium option d iodine the answer is option a molybdenum so let's see the explanation molybdenum 99 with a half life of 66 hours decay into technetium 99 through beta decay moving on to the next question question number 3 which radionuclide is an ideal radionuclide and accounts for over 70% in nuclear medicine option a iodine 131 option b molybdenum option c technetium 99m and option d thallium 201 the answer is option c technetium 99m so let's see the explanation The radioisotope most widely used in nuclear medicine is technetium 99 employed in some 80% of all nuclear medicine procedures it is an isotope of an artificially produced element technetium and it has almost ideal characteristics for a nuclear medicine scan Moving on to the next question question number 4 technetium 99m has a half life of option a 128 days option b 2.5 hour option c 6 hour option d 2 days the answer is option c 6 hour so let's see the explanation technetium 99m is a short lived form of technetium 99 that is used as a medical diagnostic tool it has a short half life of 6 hours and does not remain in the body or the environment for long moving on to the question number 5 technetium 99m release dash gamma rays option a 50% option b 88% option c 95% and option d 99% the answer is option b 88% so let's see the explanation technetium 99m has a photo peak of gamma ray emission of 140.5 keV keV means kilo electron volt making it a very minimal 
risk of toxicity means reduce side effects the short six hour half life and rapid excretion from the body limit the toxic effect and give enough time to perform its diagnostic imaging all while limiting radiation exposure to the patient so technetium 99m is a short half life that is of 6 hour and it is rapidly excreting from the body thereby reducing the side effects to the patient Moving on to the next question, question number 6. Iodine has a half-life of option A 6 hour, option B 8.06 days, option C 128 days and option D is 23 hour. The answer is option B 8.06 days. So let's see the explanation. Iodine-131 is a radioisotope with a very short half-life of 8.02 days making it highly radioactive. Moving on to the question number 7. Iodine decays by option A electron capture, option B isomeric transition, option C a beta emission, option D alpha emission. The answer is option C, beta emission. So, let's see the explanation. Iodine-131 undergo beta minus decay and emits a principal primary gamma photon of 364 kilo electron volt. That is KeV. That means uh, 81 percentage abundance with a 8 day physical half life to a stable xenon. That is xenon. 131. So, the iodine decays by beta emission and it is having, this iodine is having a half-life of 8.06 days and the it decays to a stable xenon 131. Question number 8. What does the P in PET stands for? PET stands for Option A, positron, option B, photon, option C, proton, option D, P, orbital. The answer is option A, positron. So, let's see the explanation. PET stands for positron emission tomography. In the PET process, there is a nuclear reaction causing emission of a positron. This positron comes in contact with the electron undergoes annihilation and give out two gamma rays which are detected by the detector. On the gamma rays they are detected at the opposite ends are used for, to form an image. The rest are discarded as noise. Question number 9. The time required for a radionuclei to decay to half of its original activity is known as Option A, decay constant. Option B, half-life. Option C, curie. Option D, activity. The answer is option B, half-life. So, let's see the explanation. The half-life is the time required for the quantity to reduce to half of its initial value. Question number 10. In technetium generator, dash is passed through the column to remove that is elute technetium 99m option a weak hcl hydrochloric acid that is about 0.2 percentage option b strong sodium hydroxide that is 0.2 percentage option c isotonic saline that is 0.9 percentage and option d distilled water the answer is option C, isotonic saline, that is 0.9 percent. So let's see the so let's see the explanation. A technetium 99M generator, or colloquially it can be called as technetium cow or molly cow. It's a device used to extract the metastable isotope technetium 99M, that is technetium from a decaying sample of molybdenum 99. So, the technetium 99M is obtained from molybdenum using a technetium 99M generator and this molybdenum is having a half-life of 66 hours. 
which decay to produce the technetium 99m within a half life of 6 hours is extracted and it is used for the nuclear medicine diagnostic procedure where its short half life is very useful. So the isotope used in nuclear medicine is technetium 99m which is extracted from molybdenum and this molybdenum is having a half life of 66 hours and technetium is having a half life of 6 hours. Most commercially te molybdenum technetium generator use column chromatography in which molybdenum is in the form of molybdate is absorbed in onto acid alumina. When the molybdenum decays it forms pertechnonate which because of its a single charge is less tightly bound to the alumina. Pouring normal saline solution through the column of immobilized molybdenum eludes that means removes the soluble technetium 99M resulting in a saline solution containing technetium 99M as per tectonate. This is how through, through this process of elution this technetium 99M is obtained and this elution process is done in all the nuclear medicine department in the morning. And this technetium 99M which is having a half life of 6 hours is used for all the nuclear medicine procedures. Hope you all are happy with today's session. In the session, all our commands line So with that, I am coming to the end of today's session. Stay tuned till next Sunday. Since Sunday is the day for me to upload the videos. So patiently wait till next Sunday for the next class or for the next update. Until then stay safe, stay healthy and as I say always don't forget to share among your friends, colleagues and please do support me by subscribing and enabling the bell icon too so that you will receive the notifications of all the videos I am uploading. So patiently wait and stay tuned.